Hello everyone, I'm Duchess. This is my channel, Duchess Divinity, and we do lots of stuff here, but we're going to do a general pick a card. I've already said a prayer. I've already set my intentions. Um, so you can pick any of the following groups, or you can pick all of the groups, whatever you want. So let's get right into it. Group one. Ooh, Anpu, the Duat. Wow. Okay, so this is Anubis, and um, that's how they recognize him in Greek mythology. But in ancient Kemet, he's known as Anpu. So, and then he has the two black dogs protecting him. And you know what? The three black dogs is reminding me of Hecate as well. Hecate um, is the triple goddess that is associated with dogs. So I feel like there's a connection to both Anubis and Hecate with this, which makes sense because Anubis helps to weigh the hearts um, in the underworld. When people are crossing over, they believed during that time that Ma'at, Ma'at, would have the scales. Um, she's essentially Lady Justice. She would have the scales and she would weigh the heart compared to a feather. And if your heart was lighter than a feather, then you were able to go up um, into Newt, um, the Sky Mother. And if not, you had to go through the seven perils of the underworld, right? And kind of work your way back out to become Kepera, changed and anew, the scarab. So um, he aids in weighing of the hearts. Now, the thing people don't really realize about Anpu is he is a product of cheating. So he resulted in Isis's sister, Nebhet, or Aset, as ancient Kemet calls her, cheating. Um, tricking Asar or Osiris into sleeping with her to create Anpu only to then abandon him and to have Isis raise him as her own. So I feel this card is coming through because for one he is um, a guided, he's a trusted guide and leader in the occult mysteries and in especially um, you know the darker more shadowy aspects of magic like death and psych, uh, psychopomps and necromancy and things along those lines. Um, also, if you really like to visit cemeteries, I feel like he's kind of with you at the cemetery as well as Hecate. And it's also about selfless love, right? It's about forgiveness and selfless love. And Anpu becomes Aset's protector and loves her. And she loves him deeply and accepts him despite the malice and negative energy that went into his creation his own mother abandoned him and she took him in despite that so i feel like it's about forgiveness forgiveness of the self and others selfless love not being a doormat but being able to let go and just be however that feels right to you and also high heavy heavy protection here with the three black dogs all right group two. Oh, we have the knight of wands so to me, this is saying like kind of like quick and fast movement towards a goal that maybe you you weren't necessarily realizing was going to be reached or being too hasty and now you're slowing down. So maybe in the past you would kind of take things too fast before you got the full picture and you didn't necessarily look before you leap. I feel like you're looking before you leap now, but I also feel like the goals that you're trying to achieve are going to be coming into fruition very quickly. Here with the waves as well, you can see he's literally gliding above them, and I feel like this is gliding above the chaos and distraction in order to reach your primary goals and focus on the self. And I also think, too, you might be in your, like, kind of, like, you know, in your efforts, like, whatever, here I go, I'm just going on to the next thing. And I also feel like there's about to be a major shift in your life that happens very, very, very fast. And also, I feel like something could show up in your life that it, it's like suddenly it's there, something you've been wanting. So like, I thought of Adventure Time, they have this like, all of a sudden in one of the episodes when Jake is scared, they have one of those monkeys with the symbols, because like Haman is a monkey. So it's like they have a monkey with the symbols and conveniently, like you've never seen it before, but conveniently the day that like Jake is scared, like he finds the creepiest thing in the house and he's like, I didn't know we had one of those. And it's like just a little too convenient with the moment. But I feel like it could be like that. Like something could just show up in your life. You're like, what? I didn't know I had one of those. Or there could be stuff that needs to be healed that like seems a little creepy, but once you like, figure it out you're like whatever it's it's really not that scary it's just a toy right like because the clapping monkey thing in itself isn't 
it's like the idea of it that's scary it's not the actual toy that's scary so maybe there's something that's coming into your life very quickly where it's like the idea of this thing showing up in your life is scary but once it gets there you realize it's not scary at all all right group three the cobra again what the heckin all right so since i read the um book last time i'm just gonna go off of it and interpret it so first of all sacred geometry could be calling to you because we do have all these like stripes and they're all kind of coming together in this triangle and also the sacred geometry of the cobra itself and a lot of people think snakes are scary but i think they're so cute like look at its cute little face so it kind of goes with this one and the idea that like the very thing that you might be so terrified of is something that you'll deeply connect with and fall in love with um and even with this like on the surface it seems like oh like that would be the worst thing ever to happen with like on Pooh being a creation of like cheating but at the end of the day he's such an asset to both his mother and his father well his adoptive mother and his father and so things that seem really scary on the surface might actually be exactly what you need and not really scary at all um I also think as well like the snake spirits are coming towards you so medusa um also healing because the when we see the double helix of snakes that's a sign of healing um and also snakes get such a bad rep but they hold hidden knowledge and hidden truth just like on poo so it's like there's certain hidden knowledge occult knowledge and information that's attempting to come to the surface for you now and attempting to heal you with it so whatever you've been scared of whatever you've been avoiding in yourself it reminds me of that movie fame there's like a teacher at one point who says like you know everything that you hide everything that you're most ashamed of all your pain all your suffering that's your power use it transmute it and like make something of yourself with it don't let it be for nothing and that's how i feel it's like there are scary things lurking beneath the surface but when you fully accept them and just dive head first in them like birth you have to dive head first into birth because if you are wavering if you are holding yourself back all you're going to do is prolong the situation longer and cause more pain for yourself so it's like surrender go into the fear go into the pain go into that raw energy and move forward with grace and power all right thanks for watching like if you liked it comment if you got something to say subscribe if you feel like it and i'll see you another time all right thanks bye bye and i will see you another time okay bye bye, bye. Ooh.